moving along with the lightning bolt. We begin with David Bowie. This is uh, a little earlier than my generation, and you can see the use of the lightning bolt in the eye. This is him as an older man. This is part of a Ziggy Stardust campaign. You can see the lightning bolt, M Vogue magazine. This is Kylie and the lightning bolt style in the eye. This is Keisha and that lightning bolt in the eye. And you can see here uh, the use of the lightning bolt in the eye. This is Lady Gaga now. So you can see the recycling of this symbolism across generation. Now you can also see now the use of the, uh, the uh, uh, Nazi style lightning bolt in the eye. And you can see this symbology being reused again. Lightning bolts upside down in this tree. Again, the lightning bolt again. These are mere puppets for the industry. They are ministers to indoctrinate people this way. It used to be that artists were completely or wanted to be individual. I know me as an artist or an architect wanted to be this way. Uh, I didn't want to copy anybody. But this is, you can see what is going on uh, on this level of programming. So here is E for everyone. And you can see the symbol here. This is representing Lady Gaga, the lightning bolt in the eye. E for everyone, and you can see what uh, you know who she's about, and her lyrics. My goodness, we'll see those in case studies at the end of this. But uh, E for everyone, and this indoctrination. This is also called the peace sign. We'll see a little bit of that later, and where that originates from. So going back on David Bowie, there's Blondie. I believe that's Blondie. Anyway, the use of the eye. There's also this red and blue symbology. These, uh, I've come to find out that blue and red are quintessential satanic colors. You'll see that at the end of this. Um, you'll also see the Mayan aspect uh, and just uh, use of different pagan things. Here again, lightning bolt in the eye. That is the Grateful Dead. This is My Chemical Romance. This is a newer band. You can see here the use of the snake and the uh, lightning bolt in the single eye. So this is deliberate. Rolling Stones magazine and the Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, he uses this keychain with a lightning bolt on it, and of course the pinnacle and the star, the common star. Black Eyed Peas and their whole campaign, they use this logo for a number of their album covers. Electric Lucifer, again you saw the previous plate with ACDC, so really just combining electricity with Lucifer, um, and then trying to be deceptive that way. So we have, uh, and these are, this is an old album. Uh, this is Luke Fiasco and his video that has lightning coming across his body. He has these symbols, the peace symbol, which is not the peace symbol, and that originated the anarchy symbols, which rep represents this pyramid. And then we have the lightning bolt with bones, and bones represents death, and we'll get into skulls and bones and that idea in secret societies as well, that symbolism. Lily Allen, this is riddled with occult symbolism. Uh, her albums are, so you have the lightning bolt here and in the clouds. Foo Fighters, they refer to these balls of light that were found in World War II and they, refer, they called those things Foo Fighters. And toward the end of this you're going to understand that this is uh, spiritual stuff and, and, and from my a worldview and understanding that these are demonic realms and hence you have the Foo Fighters in combination with the lightning bolt. They know exactly what those are. So I'm not coming from my perspective, I'm coming from their perspective. This is the lead singer of the Foo Fighters and uh, now with cross genre, look he wears the common cross um, but is he a Christian? No. So we have to understand how they do things and not be deceived by what they're wearing. There he's wearing the Slayer uh, sign. And okay, this is cross genre showing the pentagram uh, in this aspect. So he's, has, he's representing heavy metal as opposed to his genre, which is just sort of alternative music. City of Ember, Green Day, 
Metallica, when you see this, the serpent biting or spitting out lightning bolts. And so there you have it, the satanic realm, the serpent, and the lightning bolt dual symbology.